Hi there guys! So my name is Katie and I'm a second year student here at the University of Stirling. Today I'm just going to be giving you guys a wee video on how to stay on top of your mental health while living in lockdown. Before we get started, I just want to stress that the most important thing and your top priority should always be your safety and your health. One of the most important things I found for myself during lockdown is trying to maintain a routine. Because of this lockdown, normal life has been thrown out the window, but it's still important to look after the basics. But always remember to eat regular meals, drink lots of water, take regular showers, and try and get your exercise in if possible. I think that if I have days where I just lie in bed for hours, I've already got my day off to a bad start. So I like to do some sort of signal just to tell my body, look, it's not sleep time anymore, even if it is just a different pair of pajamas. Joe X does workouts every morning, so if that's your cup of tea, that's a great way to start your day. I prefer to just go downstairs, make myself a coffee, and watch this morning with Holly and Phil. It's important to try and fill your day as much as possible, whether this be with your studies, or if you're working from home, or even if it's just taking up a few new hobbies or finding some old ones. Secondly, it's important to recognise that bad days are inevitable and it's going to happen to all of us. As humans, we are social beings and we're used to being in constant contact with lots of different people. And obviously now, when we're having to self-isolate, some people are by themselves or in the company of just their household. So this has an adverse impact on our mental health. Don't beat yourself up. Everyone's in the same situation and bad days will happen. When bad days come, it is important to focus on the little victories. So what I like to do is every day, I will always try and make my bed, even if it's right before I get in it at night, because that can be something that I've achieved that day. For a lot of people, this lockdown could be a blessing in disguise. It's the perfect opportunity to do all the activities you've always wanted to do, but I've never had time for. A lot of people have been writing their lockdown bucket list, and if you want to do this, fill it with loads of activities that you've always wanted to try. Be as ambitious as possible and dig as deep as you can, because who knows how long we'll be here for. What's important during this lockdown is to try and stay connected and stay social as much as possible. A lot of mental health self-help sites will always say that, you know, to keep good mental health, you should stay in contact, talk to your friends and family, etc. And now we're in a position where we can. But this shouldn't mean that we can't socialise from our homes. Self-isolation itself can be very scary for someone who's experiencing poor mental health. But remember that there is always someone there to talk to you. Don't be afraid to reach out even in these daunting times. If you don't feel like you can speak to a friend or family member, there are lots of helplines online, including the Samaritans, which is 116-123, or you can Google your local Samaritan. Otherwise, there's Breathing Space Scotland, which is 0800 83 85 87. If you do reach crisis point, do not hesitate to reach out for help. Your life matters and this chaos will pass, so hold on. It's important to talk to your friends about how you're feeling as well, because it is likely that a lot of people will be feeling the same way. Problem shared is a problem halved. There are lots of apps and websites which you can use to stay in contact with your friends and family, whether it's over messages or even a video call. While everyone's stuck at home, this is also the perfect chance to catch up with that friend you always mean to see but can never work out at an appropriate time. Staying active, even in small amounts, can make a massive difference to your well-being. There are lots of home workouts online and even giving them a shot if you're not into it or it's just not very good, then at least you know that you've tried. And what is important is try and use your recommended daily government exercise of one hour a day. On top of this, remember that it's okay to use this time to rest. You don't need to learn a new skill, start a new hobby, lose weight, or learn a new language. If you want to use this time to chill, do it. When will you have a chance like this again? For some, the news and media in general has become a great source of anxiety, particularly relating to COVID-19. Try to find a healthy balance with the news. Staying informed is important to reduce levels of uncertainty. However, it is important to control your exposure to the stories. Set a small amount of time each day to check on the latest news and try and stick to that. It's difficult to control what you see, especially with social media. It is important to try and stay balanced and responsible when gathering information. In isolation and at all times, sleep is very important to your mental health. Try and maintain a good sleep schedule. It is difficult when you don't have to wake up for work or university in the morning. Try your best to ensure that you're getting the right amount of sleep. Sleeping helps us to recover from mental as well as physical exertion. Look after yourself and look after your sleep schedule. 
lastly, I just wanted to drop in some fun self-care tips that I've been using during this lockdown. It's such a negative time, I find it really important to pick out the positives in each day. So before I go to sleep each night, I try and think of three positive things that have happened that day. Sometimes, on a bad day, all you want to do is scream. But sometimes you can't get the words out properly. I like to let it all out on paper. Write down how you're feeling, and if you want to try and speak to someone about it, this gives them a point of reference to know how you're feeling without you having to explain it to them, which can sometimes be the hardest part. If, like me, you're not particularly sporty and staying active has never really been your thing, I like to just sing and dance around to my favourite playlist. Yeah, it's a bit of physical activity and it's fun too. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I just want to say to everyone to stay safe and look after yourself. And please remember, it's great to be great, but it's okay not to be okay.